Okay, so hello and welcome to this video tutorial for uh, Hibbelet's Engineering Mechanics Statics textbook. So this is a problem from chapter two here. Uh, it's a fundamental problem. Uh, it states, determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. So we can start off with this problem doing as we m might be um, uh, doing routinely at this point, which is uh, drawing a free body diagram. So you've got this 800 Newton force acting up, you've got this 600 Newton force acting uh, diagonally uh, to the to the bottom right. Uh, let's just add some geometry to this problem as well. So if, oh, I did not want that to do that. Let's add our x-axis here. And let's add this 30. 30 degrees angle here uh, and let's let's just add our magnitudes so I've got this 800 force and this 600 newton force here okay so um, as we've done with uh, previous problems we'd go ahead and resolve horizontally and vertically so we can say that the sum of the forces in the x here are equal to uh, well, the 800 Newton force doesn't have a horizontal component, so we can ignore that. The 600 Newton force, well, its horizontal component will be 600 cos 30, which when we bung in our calculator, we find is equal to 519.6. Okay, let's move on and resolve vertically. We can say the sum of the forces in the Y, we've got this 800 Newton force, uh, and then we've got... Uh, the vertical component of that 600 newton force, which will be minus 600 sine 30 here. And when we bung this into our calculator, we find it's equal to 500. So um, what do these values actually mean? Well, this is describing the horizontal component of the resultant force, and this 500 is describing the vertical component of uh, the horizontal force. We could uh, sketch this. We could say it's acting 519.6 to the right, and uh, we can say it's acting 500 up. Okay, 500 up, 519.6 across, uh, and we can say then that the magnitude of the uh, resultant force is given by this hypotenuse here. Um, Evidently, this is just like a right angle triangle, so we can use Pythagoras' theorem to solve for it. Let me just move my face. So using Pythagoras' theorem here, we can say uh, that the magnitude is equal to the square root of 500 squared plus 519.6 squared, which when we put in our calculator, uh, we find to be equal to 721 point one <clears throat> okay so if we look back at the question here it's saying determine the magnitude uh, and its post uh, and its direction okay so we need to determine its direction um, counterclockwise from the positive axis so that will just be equivalent to this angle here right um, let's call it theta for now um, so since we have every um, side for this triangle now. We can use any trigonometric ratio that we like. Um, we could use sine, we could use cos, we could use tan. Um, let's just use tan. We could say that the tan of theta in this context is equal to the opposite of the adjacent. So um, the opposite in this case is 500, the adjacent in this case is 519.6. So we could say therefore then, that theta is equal to, taking the inverse tan of both sides here, we can say theta is equal to the inverse tan of 500 over 519.6. When we bung that into our calculator, let me just check my notes here, that will give us 46.1 degrees. Okay, um, so these are our two answers here. We've got this 721.1. Um, let's just give it its unit. Let me move my face again. Uh, 721.1 newtons and it's 41 uh, 46.1 degrees from the horizontal okay so 
Uh, there we have our solutions. If you have any uh, questions or comments about this problem, feel free to leave them in the comment section down, the, down below. Um, otherwise, thank you very much for watching.